Hello everyone, I'm Sharpito43 once again, bringing you all another Wi-Fi battle. My opponent for this battle is going to be Joror once again, and this battle is actually not necessarily going to be a typical OU battle. It's actually going to be, um, I guess like a bingo kind of battle? I don't know. It's because the thing is that J Joe actually um, created like a custom format kind of, of a thing, like called bingo battles or something like that like the bingo format or something where he actually randomizes a, a list of pokemon that are like i think like 25 pokemon and he just has to pick like six of them from that team to actually um uh, like he has to make it and then he has to battle people with it and every one of his pokemon has to get like a kill or something like he'll keep using pokemon and every mon that gets a kill gets swapped out with another pokemon from the 25 lists uh from the list of 25 that were that were um rotated and whatnot or something like that i don't know how to explain it honestly but bottom line is that this is not like a typical ou battle it's it's been customized basically by joror so yeah but anyways uh joror is someone that i haven't battled in quite a long time in fact i think the last time we battled was when he had that um ou tournament which is actually kind of crazy it's because lately i've not been able to be on his streams nowadays because he's been streaming very very late so and nowadays i have to sleep very very early because i have to wake up early in the morning to work because working in the working out in the middle of the day is not not the best thing to do during the summer in all honesty so but yeah anyway so this is going to be the teams that i have for him um or he's going to use um and what i'm going to use what we're going to use basically uh, uh he's going to use uh what's it called uh Rabambi, there we go i almost forgot that damn thing's name but yeah he's also going to have tornadus t he's going to have avalug a lowland golem greninja and stack attacker i'm going to use lucario the god uh, Jolteon, Milotic, Bronzong, and Sharpedo. Now, if you, for some of you people who've been watching a lot of my videos, you should know that this this team is not um, a counter team. You should know very well that this is a team that I used against your boy Vanderforge in the Valhalla League for week two. And if you don't believe me, just check out the video. I'll link it in the description below. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to be using this team because he said that this was going to be like a randomized team kind of like battle, like where he kind of picks a bunch of random things and just randomly makes sets for them or something like that i decided to just use a team that i already used that was already made that um that wasn't like that doesn't seem as try hard like or what he calls an optimized team basically like this is just a team that i made in a draft league so and it only works for that specific battle or should work for that specific battle so in a way my team is kind of like randomized you know but anyways enough of my rambling this is gonna be the battle i thought this battle was actually kind of interesting like it was kind of close even though it may not look like it but it was definitely close you're gonna see right now how that's the case okay so here we go he's gonna lead off with Rabambi. as soon as i saw this lead i definitely was thinking he's gonna get his sticky webs up so i led with lucario here and just wanted to go straight for the meteor mash because if he gets the sticky webs up i'll at least be able to take it out with a the combination of um meteor mash on the off chance it's sash and then e speed and retaliation so here, I go for Meteor Mesh. I miss straight out of the gate, which is really, really annoying because now I don't get any damage on this incoming Tornadus. So now I have to hard switch into Bronzong and hope he doesn't have Heat Wave. But unfortunately, he does have Heat Wave on this damn Tornadus. So as a result, I am going to take a lot of damage and I cannot stand to get my rocks up. So I have to switch out yet again. And I think here's where I decide to switch into my Lodic. No, Jolteon. To take a Heat Wave and then just threaten him out. So, yeah, he goes for Heat Wave. I think this doesn't do over half, which is the biggest reason why I just go for Volt Switch here. Because if this thing lives for some reason, I'll just be able to um, go into something else. Here he's going to go into Golem, the Alolan Golem, because this is his only electric resistance. And um, I think here's where I decide to go into... I think I go into the God Bull. Yep, I in fact do go into the God Bull. And uh, here, I think I just try to go for a Horn Leech because um, if he goes for a Ice Punch on this thing, if that's what it gets, or Stone Edge, and it does a lot of damage, I can just get my HP back with Horn Leech. So, yeah. Here he's going to go into Tornado. Actually, no. I don't go for Horn Leech. I go for Stone Edge here, predicting this dang Tornado to come in because, I don't know, I just felt like it was too obvious, in all honesty. I could have gone for Horn Leech, but... Um, the thing is that I think going for Hornage on a Golem is very, very obvious as well. So it's kind of like a 50-50 in all honesty. So here, he's going to go into Staff Attacker. I switch out. I'm going to go into Milotic now. 
And here, I think he goes for a Gyro Ball. In all honesty, I switched in my Lodi because I was anticipating this thing to go for Trick Room. Because if this thing has Trick Room, it just can kind of destroy the entirety of my team, in all honesty. But he just went for Gyro Ball, which is fine with me. And it does quite an amount to this Milotic. I don't think this Milotic is defense invested, in all honesty. I don't remember the set for this Milotic, in all honesty. Or the EV spreads, for that matter. But yeah, I just go for Skull here just to get some damage on the stack attack if he tries to stay in and go for the Trick Room now. But he just hard switches in the Greninja. I was hoping for the burn on this Greninja so that he gets crippled little by little, slowly but surely. But unfortunately, I don't get it. I think here, because I my Milotic is still relatively healthy, I figure, okay, let's stay in and just take a Dark Pulse and then go for another one. He ends up staying in and going for Hydro Pump, so he probably was predicting me to switch into something that can't take a Hydro Pump very well, which is very, very good for me because I I just didn't went for another Scald. Unfortunately, I still don't get the burn, which is kind of annoying because I want that burn so that I can chip down this Greninja much quicker. Okay, but I think here, I don't know if I switch out. Maybe, I don't think I switch out. Maybe he switches out because he knows that I'm trying to just chip him down with, um, with the, um, Scald and maybe just maybe this Greninja's choice picks. So here, um, he's gonna hard switch in the Bombi. I just go for recover because I thought he was just gonna keep. Go I wanted to see if he um, was choice or not, but seeing how he switched out tells me that maybe he's not choice, or maybe he's choice, so to speak. Damn. But uh, here, I'm gonna go for Scald just to get chip damage on this Bombi. Like, if he's gonna try to get his sticky webs up, at least I'll have it like crippled. He ends up going for a Psyche MZ though. Oh, uh, freaking. Jodor with this Rubambi, it's the Shattered Psyche. Again, the the uh, the team that Jodor made was kind of randomized, and he just kind of like strung together some moves and sets and teams and all that stuff, and he just kind of made whatever he wants. So uh, I don't blame him for having the Shattered Psyche on Rubambi in all honesty. But anyways, here I go for Skulls. I still don't get the burn, which could have helped me a lot against this damn um, Rubambi because that would have allowed me to two hit KO it. However. Interestingly enough, this Rabambi never seemed to have Sticky Web whatsoever, and instead actually was a Quiver Dancing set, which was actually scarier, because if that thing sets up to plus two, I think we're just done for. Thankfully, my Lodic was aware of this, and just got a freaking crit on this thing, saying, yeah, that's, that thing is going to be a threat if it sets up way too many Quiver Dances, in all honesty, so... It was thankfully able to take it out with a crit skull that really, really mattered, because if that thing got to set up even more in my face, and I, I think it gets Roost. If it gets roosted, yeah, we're just we're just screwed. There's nothing we can do. Lucario dies too because it'll be a plus two and whatnot. But anyways, he goes into the Alolan Golem now that I took out the Rabambi, and I hard switch in the Bronzong. I was hoping that um I was hoping to just sack this thing, but he actually just went for Stone Edge, so now he gets a free switch in the stack attacker. I think here I went for I think Toxic. No, I went for Gyro Ball, thinking um if this Golem is relatively fast, maybe I can actually um you know. I can maybe um, get some damage off with Gyro Ball, because I'm slow, but it doesn't seem- oh, well, I don't know, because he's switching to Psych Attack anyways, but here I hard switch into my Lodic, hoping he does not go for Stone Edge. <laughs> he actually ends up going for Stealth Rocks, which is fine with me, but seeing Stealth Rocks kind of tells me that maybe, just maybe, he doesn't have Trick Room on this Psych Attack. So here I think like what I do is just go for a Skull just to get damage off on the Psych Attack, because if, if he kills my, my Lodic, I still have Sharpedo in the back. That can KO this thing, believe it or not. So here he's gonna go for that Stone Edge that I was expecting earlier. Um, it doesn't KO my Milotic, thankfully. But um, so yeah, I try to go for another Skull here, I think. And I think here's where he finally decides to switch in the Greninja, actually. Yeah, yeah, the Greninja here. And I do get another Skull off, and yet again, I don't get any burn. I didn't get the burn on Stack Attack. I didn't get the burn on this damn Greninja. See how unlucky I am that I just don't get the dang burns when I need them to? Because this would really be helping me in all honesty. But anyways, I'm going to switch out now. And I'm going to go into the God Bull. Because honestly, this thing can get scared away if he ends up going for either Dark Pulse or Hydro Pump. So here, I think this is the turn where now I go for Horn Leeches because now he doesn't have a, a whole lot of resistances to the Horn Leech. So yeah. And plus, I wanted to stop getting so much HP from the freaking grassy terrain. This is one of the most annoying things about the God <laughs> grassy terrain. It's just that it, it helps the other opponents with the recovery as well. But speaking of recovery, this guy's going to go into Avalug right now. And this thing is going to take the Horn Leech like it's no one's business, even in the electric terrain. That is crazy how Avalug can actually take a freaking wood, um, Horn Leech from the God <laughs> 
because we all know that the god is actually a powerhouse to be reckoned with. But anyways, I'm forced to switch out obviously because I don't want to take a nice move on this thing. And if I attack it, I'm pretty convinced it'll have like avalanche or something. So I just went into bronze on right here. Probably sack it. If he goes for earthquake on this thing, if he has it, I'll be able to take it. But he just went for avalanche. So here, I think what I try to do now here is get my own rocks up because he has his rocks up on the field and I don't. So, And I don't have hazard removal on this team. So yeah, I just have to get my rocks up to at least even up the playing field. Thankfully, no sticky webs from that Rabambi. It was a quiver dancing set, so I think as long as we both have rocks on our side, we're going to be able to cripple each other very, very well. Here, he goes for another avalanche, which gives me the opportunity to maybe just go for a toxic before going down with this bronze. It's only a matter of whether or not he predicts me to go for it or not, and thankfully he does not, because he could have easily switched in the stack attack right here predicting the toxic, but thankfully he didn't. He stayed in, and I was able to get the toxic off on this thing, which is really, really good because not a whole lot of my team could just take out this able lug. Everything, a lot of my team is physical right now. And, and 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 let me tell you that this thing is dangerous because as a physical wall and with a lot of my team being a physical attacker, check this out. I'm going to send out Lucario right now because I was thinking he'll maybe be forced to switch out. So what I'm going to do here is go for the agility. He stays in and this instantly just tells me, yeah, this thing has earthquake. So he's definitely going to go for it here. But because this Avalug is definitely defensive in some capacity, whether it be on defense or special defense, I should be able to live it. Thankfully, I do live it. But now here, oh my goodness. This just testifies the bulk of freaking Avalug. On the physical side anyways, because the special defense is terrible as all sin. But here we go. I'm going to pull out this all-out pummeling boosted by close combat on this Lucario that is adamant in nature, by the way. Lucario is a fighting type, so it's stab as well. All that combined is not going to be able to take out this freaking Avalug, surprisingly enough. Even after it had taken already some prior damage, like it's not even at full HP. It took some prior damage from the Toxic, and even then, it was still not able to take it out. Adamant Lucario, with max attack investment, with Phytinium Z, boosted by close combat. How on earth was that? Was all that not enough to take out this damn evil look? That really, that really got me pissed, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. That really got me pissed, because I was like, how the hell did this thing live? It's super effective on evil Lug, even. That's just crazy. But either way, he takes out my Lucario, but the Avalug does go down the Toxic. I'm glad I got this Toxic off earlier, because otherwise, there could have been issues. I know going to Jolteon, reason why was because I think this is the only thing that can do a lot of damage to the stack attack if he happens to bring it. Unfortunately, he does bring the freaking, um, jeez, Golem. And, um, here I'm forced to switch out, obviously. I go into the God, And I was hoping he'd go for a Stone Edge. And I was hoping to take it relatively well. But as you're going to see right here, this stone edge does way too much damage. And why? Because he gets a crit. I think even if he didn't get the crit, I think it would have still been a 2-hit KO. So it didn't really matter. Uh, but um, here, I I think here I just stay in to see if um, I can just take it out with a Horn Leech. Here he reveals that he was Choice Garb all this time, which is actually kind of scary actually. So now this instantly um, has me going straight into Sharpedo here. Because what I want to do with this Sharpedo now is just get the speed boost. I think here he has not, not a whole lot of switching, so I just go for Protect here. He doesn't have a Z move because he used it on Rabombi earlier, so I was confident he didn't have the Z move on this thing. And not to mention he already revealed it with Scarf because it was able to outspeed my Bulu. So here, after getting plus one speed, looking at what was left at his team, I just figured, yeah, I can definitely just go for the game now with Sharpedo. Or should I say Mega Sharpedo here because, yeah, this Sharpedo is definitely the Mega. Now, fortunately for me, this Sharpedo that I had prepared for Vanderforge was actually um, carrying Liquidation, which definitely allows me to take out this damn golem. Because if I had only Crunch, Ice Fang, and Psychic Fangs, which is the standard set for Sharpedo under these days, I would have not been able to win this battle, in all honesty. This golem would just wild charge my Milotic, wild charge my Sharpedo, and wild charge my... Um, I forgot what was my other mon that was left, but it was going to be able to late game sweep, in all honesty. But thankfully, I was able to um, take. Um, I, I had liquidation. This green ninja comes in. I can take it out with crunch because it was thankfully weakened enough for me to take it out. And then here, he's gonna send out his last Pokemon, which is Stack Attacker. And because again, I have liquidation, I am able to take this thing out. If I had crunch, this thing would have lived. Probably gone for superpower or something. But thankfully, I have liquidation, which is just enough to take it out. 
So, damn. I got me a nice Sharpedo sweep right here, which is really, really cool. Against your boy Jotaro. I don't think I've ever gotten Sharpedo sweeps against Jotaro in all honesty. I could be wrong, but I don't think I ever have. And if I have, well, I haven't had one where I showcase it, which is really, really cool. But anyways, that's going to be the whole battle. Good game once again to Jotaro. I'll leave his handles in the description below so you guys can check him out. Because this guy is awesome once again. Did I tell you guys that he actually provided a new code that, um allows you to mute your music because the one that we had previously was removed because i think it got overwritten or something by new codes that were submitted by other people because you know that millions and millions of people submit battle codes and all that stuff so um Jodo actually went out of his way to actually make one um of his own and so that everybody who wants to mute their music can actually do that because some people do have preferences with their music in all honesty i would know but uh anyways if you guys want that um that code i'll leave it in the description below as well so you guys can use it because it's a pretty cool code by the way but anyways with all that said um thank you all for watching this battle i'll catch you guys in the next battle for now just take it easy